the grand finale. We came here to get a taste of life on the farm, but we never expected to have a new family after just three days. We hope you enjoy this story. We are living on a farm. Oh, okay. Oh. Dushi, bang. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, electricity, no problem. On? Good. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Condizionere. Uh huh. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Welcome to the farm. This little fairy tale cottage will be our home for the next three nights. Now it's time for the grand tour. We have to take off our shoes before going in because there's a ton of animal poop around. <laughs> this is a real farm, people. This is our cozy little room. It has everything that we need to be comfortable for three days on the farm. A very, very nice bed that I will sleep like a baby until the roosters wake us up. Will be probably at like 5 a.m. because the sun comes up early in Albania. I've also snooped around these liquor bottles. Mm. Smells like good vacuum. I love all the little details in here, like these lamps just like hanging, and then these things of wool. I don't even know what you call it. Is this wool? I don't know. It's att attached to plants. I think it's wheat. <laughs> I've never been on a farm, people. <laughs> <laughs> But it's super comfortable. I'm really happy here. I like that we're on the farm. And the last part of our room is the toilet. We have a toilet, a shower, I guess, what do you call it? Is it a wet bath? Shall we go outside? Yeah. Let's go. So the owner of the farm, his niece just like rolled up on a little motorcycle with her sister. She gave me what I think are uh, almonds. I don't know, she crushed them open and I had one and it looked like an almond. But she said, come to the farm because my uncle is milking cows. So we're going to go watch the uncle milk cows. She's like, you want to see us work on the farm? Why? And I'm like, well, <laughs> I'd like to see how things go. Oh, there's a back seat? Yeah, I'll sit in the back. Here on the farm. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I like his favorite. Very good. Oh, tomato. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, a little, little one. Cherry. Mm. Yummy. Mm. Yeah. Funny <laughs> little <laughs> I love cats. I love cats. Food for a chicken. Food for chicken. Okay. Uh, corn. We went to the grandma's house and they took us to their garden and they gave us all these yummy fruit and vegetables and more stuff that's like on the table. They're so nice and she shows like how she cooked dinner and she has like this giant bread and she shows like the oven where they cook it. These people are awesome. They're so nice. Oh, and then like when we were leaving, like she's like, candy, candy. <laughs> she grabs like a good grandma, a giant bowl of like candy. And she's just like, take candy. <laughs> and the good grandpa said, Raki. Raki, Raki, so Raki, wine. And we were like, yeah, yeah, we're talking. So now we're gonna have dinner at seven and then go to the girls. What's her name again? Anya, I think. Anya, to her house at 9 p.m. Her dad makes wine. 
You should be here for a night. <laughs> This is the grand finale. <laughs> yeah, no, that one? Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm too short. For, no, your cheek. Are you okay? Okay, with the stripe? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What is it? The ones with the stripe? The ones with the stripe are for chickens. Oh, sorry, they're going to grow with grow chickens. Grow with the chickens. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's so much farm action happening this afternoon. So much. <laughs> it went from Literally everything. It went from like zero to a hundred in like 30 minutes. And you came and just turned things up. You ready to go in? Your chicken coop. They have 300 chickens. 300 chickens? Huh? Oh. <laughs> 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 Is that a rooster or a chicken? I don't know. He was so happy. <laughs> you did your work for today. Yeah. Did you get breakfast tomorrow? Yummy. Oh wow! Wow! Ah, that was a special dix. Ah. Oh okay. Dix. Spicy. Spicy. Minor spillage. Not bad. The crying lamb behind us. First night on the farm. So we think something got a bit lost in translation. We thought we were going to get up at 7 to watch the milk some cows. Now it's 6 a.m. and we're here with the cows. I think Aymara is going to milk some cows.
They're free. <laughs> Look how excited they are. <laughs> Be careful, birds. There's enough for everyone. Throw it up in the air. <laughs> also attacked by a turkey. It's easier than milking a cow, right? It is easier than milking a cow. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're on a lovely 30 minute walk with like this beautiful wildflowers surrounded by mountains. The weather is still perfect. And we're going to pick up some oregano for meals. Have you ever done that before? No. She has a hook. It reminds me of, uh, I know what you did last summer. <laughs> <laughs> I had so little idea about what was about to happen that they said that we were going to get oregano and I ran to grab my wallet. <laughs> and here we are in the middle of the field. <laughs> I haven't fully adjusted yet to farm life. Come on. <laughs> I was like, oregano, surely there's like a financial transaction happening. Well, no. Well, no. I haven't found some, but they are both finding stuff here. So I think we're hot on the trail of oregano. Look at them work. We literally could not be more useless. <laughs> <laughs> okay. this, this is it too? She was like pointing to me. She's like, it's here, here, here. I'm like looking around. I don't see it. <laughs> now I just feel like I'm grabbing for random white flowers. <laughs> Ours versus theirs. Which one is which? <laughs> Ours. We had turkeys on our doorstep. We just got up from a three hour nap. It felt really, really good to go back to bed. We got a pretty early wake up call. We're not really fully accustomed to farm life yet. We're gonna make some snacks with the only knife in the house to recoup our energy because we don't know what this afternoon is going to hold for us. I was told that I'm gonna feed the chickens. We'll see if that happens. It's been kind of stormy, so I don't know what's gonna happen, but you have to stay prepared on the farm. So we're gonna have a snack. Honey from the farm. This stuff is delicious. Mm -hmm. mm. Cute. Dinner's here. Delivered. Best thing <laughs> <Uber> eats ever. <laughs> That's our food though. I think it's theirs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, flowers. Aww. The entire family came to deliver our dinner. Gracie brought flowers. Granny cooked a delicious vegetarian feast for us. My other friend, I think her name is Esmeralda. Esmeralda, I think that's her name. She speaks Spanish. It's very nice. I love this family. They're so cute. Let's show you what we got. Look at this. Stuffed peppers with rice, beet salad with garlic and like fresh parsley. Tomatoes from the garden. Fruit for dessert, some fresh berries and apples. Oh my gosh. More peppers. More peppers. Oh my gosh. And cheese. All from the farm. All cooked by Granny. And Granny's bread. Buka. Buka. <laughs> she 
I'm not very convinced with you. Yeah. Like, I'm, like, I'm sorry, Lil. There's another one right behind you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's happening. You're milking it? Yeah. You're milking a sheep? I'm milking a sheep. Just some <laughs> casual nighttime sheep milking. Now girls uh, live in the farm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You have to adopt me. You go uh, America. The birds recognize me as king of the food, but this time I don't have food. Sorry chickens. Good morning everyone, it's day two of our life on the farm. We have a bit of a quiet morning today, so we're going to walk into the village and explore. I think it's going to be pretty quiet until the afternoon, but we do have some chores on deck. So I think Aymara is going to help with making a chicken pie, and I'm going to go into the mountains, hopefully Aymara too, to pick some mountain tea. I don't really know what that means, but I'm going to do it. Such a nice little walk. It's so peaceful. Like all the roosters are singing, the birds are chirping, and the town is so small. Like the girl that has been hanging out with us, Anya, she said that there's only like 150 people. Like everyone knows each other, and it's crazy to see how self-sufficient everyone is too. Like they have like dairy farms, and they have fruit and vegetables and meat. There's only the small shop. Like they're they all like they don't need much from the outside world. There's one little shop at the town's main intersection, which I think also functions as like the bar. So one of the evenings when we were driving by, like all the guys were sitting outside. When I say all the guys, I mean like six, <laughs> drinking raki and they pulled like an old like TV out for like entertainment. It's definitely a very, very different style of life and it's super cool to see. I think we've seen all of the village, so it's time to head back to the farm for breakfast to get started with the rest of our day. I'm working. Here's Bricky. A hearty breakfast to be strong on the farm. <laughs> Some kind of corn and cheese pie? Do you think they call it pie? No. Try it. I already know I like this one. <laughs> Just like a, a savory corn pie with fresh cheese. It's still warm. I think lightly fried. I really like this one. I do. But I don't know what it's called. Farm pie. These are my little helpers. They make the load lighter. And finally useful. No. Good. <laughs> Break time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's itchy the wheat. I think it's so dry. Sit down with my knees. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've only done like five minutes of work. <laughs> I'm sweating like a beast. But I think they're happy with me here. <laughs> Better than milking anything. Yeah. Oh, you have to open them. Yeah. 
Ah, Puka. Oh, they're warm. Yeah, it was just in the oven. Oh, wow. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. My grandma making it earlier. Mm. Yeah. Eh? Fresh. Real cover. Mm, cheese. Uh, for you. Eh? Okay. <laughs> That's how you're supposed to do it. Uh -huh. This is how I do it. Sound like an arepa. <laughs> We did our best to capture some of our experience today here and there, but today was the reason why we travel basically. Like this family, they adopted us like into their home so that we cook together, spend the whole day cooking, eating together on their table, having wine and talking and played cards <sighs> with the children. Played cards with the girls. That was so fun. This family is so special and our hearts are very full. I wish I know their last name, but I don't. But Thank you, beautiful family that owns Life on the Farm on Booking.com. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we know you. Our hearts are very, very full. I'm happy. You're happy? <laughs> After three days doing life on the farm, it's sadly time for us to move on. Unfortunately, we gotta go. We had so much fun here though. Like it was absolutely incredible how the people here just like welcomed us in and taught us about life on the farm and experiencing all like the sounds and the smells and everything that comes with being here. It was just so cool. Yeah, they basically adopted us and also all the things that you saw in the video, like they were 100% voluntary. Like we did this because we came here with the mentality that we're gonna say yes to everything and I have no regrets. No, it was awesome. Like yeah. trying to milk a cow was pretty cool. That was like my first time like holding udders and like squeezing. It was pretty weird. I didn't do a good job, but it was fun to, to live it those kind of things. It was fun to try and yeah. to see how other people live. And we had read about them on like booking. That's how we found it. And they had like the best reviews and everything was about the family. And we yeah. had high expectations, right? But yeah, like, yeah. It was above and beyond. Yeah, they yeah. are awesome. We are so grateful. Thank you so much. I don't know their last name, but thank you for adopting us. We love you. We are leaving with our hearts full. Thank you. Right? Yeah, we hope experience. to see you again soon. Yeah. So we can come back to the farm and just spend time with the family again. That was really yeah. the most special yeah. part. Yeah. Like just hanging out with the kids, like playing games, 
it's drinking raki. Oh my gosh, like the kids were also, it's, it's just incredible. We're gonna leave the link to this farm in the description in case you guys are ever in Albania and you want us to buy. But our taxi is about to be here, so we gotta finish packing. But if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to follow the rest of the adventures through Albania. And thanks for watching. Yeah, we have a lot of videos coming up. Thank you for watching. Bye. See you. How are you? Morning. <laughs>